These small little gigs matter. These small little gigs that you do with these small schools or your small venues, they matter. They add up and you have no idea who's, who's there listening to you or who's watching what you're doing, all right? And I want you to always remember that. Never think that a gig is too small for you. Don't think that you're you know, the hottest thing on the block and you're not gonna go do that. That, that. That's not how this industry works. This industry actually works the total opposite. The more you show that you can, you can actually you know, get down and actually just work something that's deemed to be smaller, the more it shows how big are you, how much bigger you are. Does that make I, sense? I have yeah. never, and still to this day, I have never lost a gig in which I started. They will still call me. So those, that, that, that 50 buck gig that I told you about back then, still coming around. Some of them I, I obviously at a higher rate. And then you add that, then you add this, and you add the other people are trying to hire you, and the other people are trying to hire you, and now it becomes kind of this full-time thing. You guys know what the butterfly effect means, right? Respect it. Just accept it, all right? You don't know how you got there, all right? But just respect that it's happening. This leads to that, that leads to that, that leads to that. And I'm there at the podium, I'm looking around, and I'm like, I'm just some kid from like Miami Lakes. Like what the hell is this? You know, like I always, and I always do that to myself. Why, I think it keeps you humble. I think if you know where you're coming from, it's, I, I know it sounds so cliche. I know it's like, if you know where you're coming from, you know where you're going, blah, 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 all right? But I always tell myself that because it's like, all right, man, you're making moves. Like you have to be your number one fan in this industry because you're, you're gonna hit the ground hard too. And I'm lucky and I'm tell you about that, well. that it's worked out in South Florida. I can tell you, my best friends who are, I can say are more passionate and are better than me at, at, at most of what I do, they had to leave the South Florida area. And that's, that's another thing that a lot of people don't talk about. You're gonna, you're gonna have to leave, all right, to find success, all right, if you don't find it immediately. Unless you have that, you know, let's just, let's get out of like, you know, the whole posh, you know, job thing. The reality, if your family can, you know, take care of you while you're here, and you can, you can outweigh the extra you know, years or whatever till you get into the industry, that's fine. But if not, you gotta do what you gotta do to grind somewhere else and you know, find yourself in another, in another um, you know, location and then probably come back. Which is, if you're that good, you will come back. There's no doubt about it. If you're that good, you, you leave, but you will come it's, back. Right, There's right. a lot of self-motivation involved in this. You know, and I talked about that a little bit earlier. You're gonna have to be your, your number one fan and your number one critic too, but you're gonna have to be your number one fan a lot. And one thing I really can tell you is for sure, for sure, for sure, is be a likable person. You know, they always say it's not whether, it's not whether you, it's not what you know, it's who you know. I don't think that's true either. Uh, it's not what you know, it's not who you know, it's do they like you? All right, because they could know you. <laughs> they could know you. I mean, I know a lot of people who I don't like, all right? No, you know, but do they like you? And why I say do they like you? Because in this industry, it's all about personality. Even if you think you're just an editor, it's all about personality, all right? Even if you're behind the camera, all right? You're not talents or whatnot. Why do I say that? It makes it a lot harder for them to fire you. That's for sure. That's one, all right? You know, like, they're like, man, God, I really don't want to you know, get rid of this person. But not only that, just... If people could think of you as, man, that's a good person. And again, this is something no school likes to teach. You know, we always, uh, we, it's all about the FCAT and, you know, all these PSATs and, you know, all these standardized numbers that we're accredited to for some reason. And I've been an educator for the last three years too, which if you guys want to ask me questions about that, I can talk to you about that. But one thing I always try to install when I talk to a group of people that want to be in this industry, especially my students, be likable, man. Just be, trust me, be likable. And, it's, and, and, and it, you're not faking it when you're being a likable person. Everybody knows what it feels like to want to be liked and how to like people. You know, like that's, that's like, it's built within us. Like that's not, that's not something that someone's, someone has that's to teach you. It's, it's be more than a one trick pony. Miss or Mr. I'm just a talent. No, you're not. All right? <laughs> you're a pest. I'm sorry. If you think that you don't, if you don't need to know all the aspects of media, to be a guru in this industry, you are so wrong, all right? They want reporters who can edit their own stories, who can shoot their own stories. That's what they want nowadays. I have a friend, Hassan, who works at Channel 7, all right? He's an editor, but he does it all. You need to do that. We're in the world where anybody can grab a camera nowadays and record themselves and become a character of interest. You know what I mean? The YouTube and all that stuff. But not many people know how to do the whole entire shebang. In this industry, it's all about who likes you, all right? And trust me, the number one people that matter is not the talents, it's the people behind the scenes. They matter a lot more than you do, all right? We can find, a, especially in Miami, we can find a million pretty faces. 
all right? Now the creative people, that's where it's at, all right? It's a creativity thing. So my talents, learn how to edit, learn how to relate to them, all right? They're gonna be your best friends. Being nervous before you do a production or do an event will never go away. Why? Because you care. And when you care, you're passionate. That, like, that butterfly feeling, if you lose it, you should get out of the industry. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Once you lose that, you've lost passion for what you do. You're not happy anymore. And this is an industry about being happy. I'm gonna tell you that right now, because it's not an industry about being million, a millionaire, all right? It's about being happy. Don't get me wrong, you do it for long enough, the money will come. You, you, you know right? when you're growing up, and still to this day, you always seek a role model, but you never think about who the hell seeks you as a role model, you know? It's a two-way street. You don't know who that little cousin is who's looking at you, you know? And you don't, especially if, you, if you're gonna be in the industry, like people look up to you, you know? People look up to you in this industry, and you don't know who it is. Like, I looked up to J-Ro. j, -Ro. j -Ro had no idea who I was. I told him amongst, you know, and, you, and it's, it's kinda cool to tell him, but I was like, I looked up to you, I thought you were so cool. And obviously, he's like, me, I'm an old, whatever, you know? But you don't know, you don't know who looks up to you, so always, always have that in the back of your head, too. You know, we always want to just think that we seek role models and no one seeks us. People seek us too.